hello friends today motive of our video is to how to write large table data to csv file in ax2012 or any other version it will work so nowadays companies has large number of amounts of data in his tables like it can be in lakhs or in crore so mostly people are using to excel file to handle the large data but the disadvantage of excel is writing data to excel sheet is become very slow because it writes cell by cell so before restarting this video i want to request you to be with our channel please subscribe my channel yeah it's subscribe button and don't forget to push the bell button so you will get notification on our posting our new videos and thank you for watching and keep eye on uh, our videos we will post many things our video in future so handling data in uh, csv file is very easy in technical terms you need you need to write a some sort of code uh, to export data table data to a csv file but you must know the table fields in ax or any other erp to write the data so little bit technical knowledge is required to do any task without technical things you cannot do big things this is very little things little code but very useful you can write for many tables you can write a common class where you can take our large data tables because sometimes we need to investigate data how it's regarding in our ax table or any other erp it doesn't matter but data is matter for each companies so i will start my code here uh, first you need to initialize query and query build data source if you want to pass any range then you can initialize query build range one object is required to declare to write into csv file which is comma io it's a system class which used to write data into files this is nothing but object of class you always need to indent your code <laughs> and first you need to, need to specify file path where you want to store your csv file i have given this as a details and common input output you need to initialize the variable and you need to initialize the your query i have added the asset table query as a data source to query build data source it's same like as you add data source in form it's basic things if you understand in ax then you, you will never face the problem in future on coding and i am adding a range to query build range then query range i, uh, I am initializing with query then this is writing header of the csv file these are our column you can take your own column financial dimension and to write data we need to pass the loop in ax i have passed here loop of asset table and to define asset table uh, we have passed the other fields and we have also passed the methods if any needs you can pass method and also with the loop you can set whatever value you want to write after uh, this is huge data here so we have only taken what to take one value i have put here break after your code you can execute this code you see our uh, data one line data here came and if i remove the break then all data of a table will bring into the table and if you don't know your, your table then you can click on form and right click on personalize your data 
then you can get field name of particular farms. These are the basic things of to export the CSV file in data. And uh, one modification you can do in this code that initially for hard coding your uh, file path, you can give some file dialog. Their user will select the file path and you can take path from that dialog. So it will be dynamic things. You can apply to your AX. I hope uh, that is the end. I hope you will like my video and uh, keep watching my video. Thanks you. Bye bye.